Actor and welcome to Actor's Replica Reviews. Today, we are going to review two exclusives from the series Maho Sensei Negima or Magical Teacher Negima. The series revolves around a 10 year old mage called Negi who has just graduated from the Magical Academy in Wales and he's given a task to accomplish before he's able to become a full fledged Magister Magi and that is to become an English teacher at a Japanese girls' high school. That's uh, Ma Mahora Gakuen. When he arrives at the school, we meet class 2A and the 31 students which it consists of. Each of the students has their own special ability and throughout the series, we see that Nagi interacts with each and every one of them and we get a lot of characterization, character development in the series. There's tons of action, adventure and the series is just jam-packed full of uh, comedy, we see some scenes of, with some fan service. There are two series of Negima, there are two anime series of Negima currently produced. The first original original series entitled Maho Sensei Negima with a single exclamation mark uh, has more emphasis on character development and uh, fan service. The second series, Negima, which has an exclamation mark and a question mark, is a retelling of the first series and focuses much more on action than uh, anything else. Alright, so now that we've cleared that up, let's get to the review proper. So first off, we have the Negima 200 chapter limited edition Pactio card set. Now what are Pactio cards? Throughout the series, Negi has to make provisional contracts with a number of his students and these provisional contracts allow his students to allow Negi, I should say, to transfer some of his magical power to his students so that they can aid him in battle or whatever to, or to help him out in whatever task he has to accomplish. And these Pactio cards are just proof of that provisional contract. Some of these Pactio cards are also able to turn into the partner's weapons when they say Adiat, the magical spell Adiat. Alright, so the Pactio card set comes in this nice white envelope. On the back we see that it is a nice white envelope. It is a bit rough here because I tore it along the edges. We see we have the magazine name, I think it's Shonen Jump, Shonen Weekly, I'm not sure about that. Uh, we have the Negima 200 chapter logo here. It was, a promotion, it was a mail order promotion to commemorate the 200th chapter of the Negima manga. Over here is the actual card set. This is the card holder itself. We see that it is a nice uh, shiny pink color. Negima, 200th chapter. We see we have Negi's stenciled face over here. His two eyes. 200 times of memory. Again, commemorating the 200th chapter of Negima. So opening the card set, we see that on the first side, First side, we have one, two, three, four cards. We have four cards, and of course, at the here we have the back of the set, which has the outline of the Pactio card. And I have no idea what it says because it's in Japanese. So let's take a look at one of the cards, shall we? So here's the card of Kagurazaka Asuna. Uh, she is one of the set more central characters and has a stronger relationship with Negi than any of the other. Any of the other girls, uh, that's because she is her room. She is his roommate, and um, she has a special bond with him. Now, I'm not going to review what bond that is. You have to watch the anime to find out. We see that the card is actually made of hard plastic. It is very sturdy. Uh, the cards that come with the other, pro the promotional cards that come with the other items, such as music CDs or magazines, are all made of cardboard. The only only these cards are actually made of hard plastic and I, that's what I love about them. So on the back of the card we see the magic symbol, the Negima magic symbol. We also see some words in Latin. Yes, Latin is the language of the spells that they use and I have to say that it's exceedingly cool. Uh, anyway, so we can, on the front of the card we see a picture of Asuna. Um, I won't really get into the details because uh, you have they really have to get into the, some of the plot points, but we see her, her character, we see her character weapon, the class, the student number over here, we see the ruby, ruber, ruber tonus, which is, is of course the specific character color. Uh, we also have some words over here, the, ma the planet symbol or astrological symbol, whatever you want to call it. And of course at the back of the, actually on the card holder itself, where the Asuna card is supposed to be, you can also see the card's name, you see the abilities and the class and the artifact that they hold. Very very in-depth information, sadly it is in Japanese. So over here we have Nodoka's card, we have Setsuna's card, we have Konoka's card, 
and on the back we see that we have three more cards yes there are seven cards altogether we see we have Yue we have Haruna's sorry you can't see that Haruna's card and finally we have Sami's card and on this panel of the card holder we see that there is a outline of the Pactio card and, we, and what each section designates such as Se which is colour and the rest is in Japanese slash olden Chinese so I can't really read that but I think this is exceptionally cool This is Ektar and thanks for watching.